Hi guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you on how to compute a compass error using a Norris nautical table. So let's begin. start the tutorial on uh, how to compute compass error by Norris nautical table so the date 26 3 2018 then your position latitude 39 degrees 55.1 north longitude 000, 0, 0. 03.4 east Okay One question Where do I get the position? Usually I got in here This is where I get uh, my GPS position Okay, as you observe Some of my videos uh, On how to get This value It's not uh, same with I'm uh, with I'm writing now because actually all the what I'm showing you is uh, all delayed so just be in mind that uh, every values will be different from the actual where do I get this where do I get that Okay, heading. 1, 2, 4. Okay, where do, did I get this? I get in here. This is uh, where I get the heading of the vessel. So this little needle showing the heading. Or this one. You see that flickering heading is 106. Magnetic compass. Where do I? Oh, wrong. One, two, two. Where do I get this? I get it here. And where do I get the magnetic compass? In here. So you see that a light. So that's where I get I get the magnetic compass value. Okay. Next, declination. North. 17.6 where do I get it I get it here now we currently using the uh, electronic type of nautical uh, almanac so we are using Admiralty e-reader or the EN so first in favorites and nautical table 2018 so this is our nautical table so we will go to page 71 so March 26 Sun which is we are uh, computing the Sun so our uh, time GMT is 12 11 45 12 26 and 12 declination is north 2 degrees 17.6 okay next GHA increments and correction where do I get this to I get it here so this is the value 358 34.9 for the increments and correction we go to page 337 okay so 11 minutes this is the one Santanet and this is the seconds 45 seconds 
So it's 2 degrees 56.5 Ah, 56.3 Okay, so the value is 3, 5, 8, 34.9, 56.3. Okay, so we will solve for the GHA. Three five eight thirty four point nine two fifty six point three. Okay, so the value is uh, three hundred sixty one degrees thirty one minutes twelve seconds. So there's no such thing as three sixty at uh, three sixty one. So you're going to subtract the three sixty degrees to get the value. It will be one thirty one. You're going to convert the twelve into minutes divided by sixty. Okay, tip Always remember that uh, When you're going to get a GHA With the uh, increments It's always plus Then you will get the longitude To get the LHA Always remember that When your longitude is east It's always plus When your longitude is west It's always minus so we have longitude is so it will be plus so you have one degrees 34 then you have 36 seconds you're going to convert that to minutes then six and you have now the LHA next calculation will be the ABC So we're going to get that on the Norris Nautical Table, this one, on page 339. Okay, so first we're going to get the value of A. Okay, as you observe, we have the table A here, and the table B here. On A, we need the LHA, which horizontal, and on vertical, it's will be, it will be latitude. On table B, still the same, horizontal, LHA, then vertical will be declination. Okay, so first we need the LHA. Our LHA is 1 degree, 34.6, and we have here 1 degree, 24 and 36 so we will get the nearest so 1 degree and 36 then latitude is 39.55 so we can round it if we get 40 and have the ruler 40 okay then 136 your value of A is 30 30.0 point 30.0 point you will write it 30.0 so there's a note here below so it means name opposite to the latitude except when LHA is between 90 to 270 so our LHA is 1 so it will be south Okay, next for the value of B, Bravo. So LHA is still the same, 134. 136. Our declination is 2. 17.6, so we can use the 2. 2. And 136, it's 1.25. So what's the value? Name, always name the same as the declination. 
so it will be north because your declination is north value of c so always remember to get the value of c if it's same name it will be add if different name it will be subtract and get the higher sign of the value so it with it will be south 30.0.25 So table C 28 28 Then 40 2.7 So if E and H between 0 to 180 and So it means you belong here so it will be west so I just write it west 2.7 less I mean plus 180 2.7 plus 180 182.7 so your uh, sun's bearing is 183 where do I get it? I get it here. Now, if you're asking on how do I get the sun's bearing or the gyro bearing and the calculation of the compass error, this is how I got it. So first, that's the sun. It's too high. That's the sun. Then, this is uh, our uh, gyro repeater in port side. And I have the azimuth, uh, azimuth uh, circle. So what you're going to do is point this mirror to the sun and you can see the reflection see this reflection this is the uh, bearing of the sun you will put that in this small hole you see that small hole you will put that in small hole and that will have a reflection down so the you see it's uh, 140 so that's how I uh, get the uh, bearing of the Sun for the uh, compass error calculation okay so gyro error is 0 0.3 west remember when the gyro bearing is greater this one it will be west when this one true bearing is greater it will be east so it's greater so it will be west so your course is 124 true course 123.7 So variation 0 0.2 east Where do I get the variation? I get it here for the variation, this is where I get the variation. This little thing in act this. Uh, there's a uh, some computation to correct that, and I'll just uh, teach you how that to compute that uh, later on. Then me one two three point five. In this area, if it is it will be y minus if it west it will be plus then your magnetic compass one two two so where do I get the magnetic compass I get it here and where do I get the magnetic compass in here so you see that the light so that's where I get I get the magnetic compass value as uh, before then 1.5 is true course 123.7 magnetic compass 122 so compass error will be 1.7 is so the value here if magnetic compass is greater it will be west if true course it will be east so we have greater the true course it will be east
then true bearing your true bearing is 182.7 your compass bearing is 181 so remember if you have east sign it will be minus if you have west sign it will be plus for correction I am uh, using inverted T V M T C so your true course is 1 2 3.7 and your variation is 0 0.2 so I use inverted so the east will be minus and west will be sign so it equals to 1 2 3.5 my deviation is 1.5 east so equals 1 2 2 so the magnetic compass will be 1 2 2 so I've calculated 1 2 2 1 2 2 and 1 2 2 it means my calculation is correct so we completed the computation for compass error by Norris nautical table ABC I hope you uh, learn a lot and see you on my next video tutorial by the way kindly like my page Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel for more uh, video updates. Thank you and have a nice day.